Welcome Pisces to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 1st of April for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. On the screen now I'm showing the event chart for the week. Now your two ruling planets are right at the heart of the action. Jupiter is getting closer to Uranus, you can see that in House 3. How you express yourself, your thinking can be very imaginative, fresh. And that's going to build up to a peak on the 21st. But you also have Mars that joined your sign last week and has given you a, a greater presence, a, a more assertiveness and hopefully a physical lift because Saturn over the last year you may have found has been limiting. However, Neptune, your other ruler in your own sign, is compromised by the Moon at the start of this week. A professional situation or worldly interaction, that could be a bit draining. But you can see that the parts of Fortune and Venus are very close together in your sign. That's a, a great asset, particularly if you want to give yourself some kind of makeover. So that's lovely. However, the big action, the Sun of course, is in House 2, which is all about the foundations of your world. And Mercury in House 2 is going to go into a retrograde later on on Monday. So something that's important around a financial matter, you do need to be very precise this week because the link between the Moon and Neptune could see you feeling a bit overwhelmed or a bit under-energised despite Mars's presence and just at a time when you really need to be very precise about uh, the individual uh, details and the minutiae of something to do with uh, a contract, a document, an email, uh, a text message you get. So really concentrate on those things. But the midpoint between the Sun and the Moon, so that's the balance of the chart, if you like the yin yang, is 19 degrees in Aquarius, which is your 12th house, and that's in a tangle with Uranus. So your nervous system could be a little bit wired up, particularly if you're feeling anxious for some reason and finding it hard to understand what that might be about. You may even feel that you've got an excess of nervous energy and a, and a, a lack of physical energy. Mars is going to help that generally, for sure, over the next five weeks or so, but by the end of this week it does forge an alliance with Saturn, which is really asking you to rinse out of your world anything which is not really good for you and that requires you to perhaps be very self-honest about some things you eat or drink and, and really uh, get things honed down to what's absolutely essential. But there is one magical link this week for you Pisces and that's on Wednesday when Venus meets with Neptune. If you do have a date with someone um, you could find that there's something about you that they find really fascinating but they may find it a little bit difficult to decipher what it is. Now I don't mean that unkindly at all, they may just feel that there's something otherworldly about you that's mesmerising. So someone could really be impressed by you at the heart of the week, they may not even tell you. It could be someone just has a chat with you and just thinks, wow, uh, that person has got something about them that's really special. And that's important because Venus moves on Friday into your sector of money, everyday money, but also self-worth. So if you do feel at times this week a bit drained because of Neptune's square with the Moon, the midpoint square with Uranus, that can be a real bolster to you if someone pays you a compliment, but your finances can improve on Friday onwards. And it could be past efforts, savings, pensions, investments, hard work behind the scenes that really pays off as Pluto applies to Venus for the first time across these two signs together for 220 years. Pluto is going to arouse your psychological world hugely over the next years. This link with Venus suggests that your ability to drill down into situations, whether it is to do with who you like and who you're drawn to, or about business and money in a very perceptive way. But also, the Sun meets with the point of destiny on Friday, a stunningly important event. This hasn't happened since 2006 in the sign of Aries. And again, this can be good news for your finances or the foundations of your world. 
which can be transformed over the next six months as the Sun advances on and meets with Chiron that becomes exact with the solar eclipse on Monday but it is true that the application of Mars to Saturn could see you feeling a bit penned in but honestly that's a fleeting influence these influences coming in through the Sun's application to the North Node Venus in Aries don't worry about the technical debilitation, this is good for you. And also the fact that the position of Chiron in the second house for you is very much about how much you value yourself. If you do doubt that, I feel that what Mars is saying to Saturn is stop putting yourself down. You know, look at the things you do do and the things you do well. Celebrate the things that you're effective at. Celebrate uh, the things that you're thrifty about, celebrate your appreciation of um, some very natural things like good food, good wine, celebrate if you're a gardener, celebrate if you're a home baker or a cook, celebrate what makes you often there for other people when they go through crises and can be very compassionate for them. So it's important that you celebrate uh, your value as this week draws to a close, but as you do, your physical finances can be transformed over the next weeks through to the 29th of the month. Now, of course, Mercury does go into a retrograde in that second house area. So, like I said at the outset, very important to be mindful of the details around transactions, but the big picture gives you an awesome opportunity to get on the front foot in terms of what you earn, how you feel about yourself, and those core foundations really make them more stable and strong over the next half year. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great week. If you've yet to like, comment, share, or subscribe, I'd be honored if you did so now.